Hi, I'm Claude Ritter from Apex Electronics. In this video, you're going to see how to set up your electrodes, insert the cables, and get it all ready for stimulation. Stick around. We'll be right back. So the first thing you need to do is you're going to select which connector you're going to have your uh, electrodes connected to. Uh, what I do is I hold them with my both hands and if I'm going to be using the unit in front of me, what I do is I use the outermost connectors just because that way it's easier for me to look at the screen. Uh, if I'm going to be sitting the unit next to me in one of the sides, I can use the two uh, side connectors. Uh, it's really a matter of convenience. You may also choose to use four electrodes at the time, of course, that's part of the functionality. But in this video, we're going to be covering using two electrodes, which is a standard configuration. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to select the port that you're going to use. And with the banana plug side, you're going to insert a banana plug into the unit as such. Do the same thing, obviously, with your red wire. You're going to select the port that you're going to use, and you're going to insert it. And basically, that's it. That's all you need to do at the uh, apex end. And when you turn the unit on, you're going to notice the LED is going to come on, come on right there. <clears throat> but nothing's going to happen. Uh, the visor, the, the meter is not going to move. And that's by design. That's exactly how it's supposed to be. Uh, this meter only works if there's current flowing through the circuit. And there is no circuit right now. You don't have it. Uh, you don't have the circuit completed. Uh, one of the ways that you can test the unit to make sure that it's working properly is you can take the electrode cables at this time and you can connect them together gently like this and you're going to notice that there's going to be a little bit of movement on your type A um, visor there. And all you need to do now to make sure the unit is working within specifications is you're going to turn the meter uh, the, the knob up and you're going to see it's going to reach 2 milliamps. Inserting the alligator clips into the electrodes is actually very easy. All you need to do, once you connect the, the, the plugs to the unit, all you need to do is pick up your electro square electrodes and you're going to notice that what they consist of is they have a layer of uh, 316 steel Right? And underneath that, they have a, a layer of, or on top of that, they have a layer of sponge. And it's dried and compressed sponge at this time, because I didn't use any saline to expand it. So right now there's some room to grow here, and that's exactly what the sponge is going to do once it's wet. So basically you're going to hold the electro square electrodes such as, uh, as this, and you're going to insert the, banana, the, the alligator plug connect clips right in there. And you're going to open them slightly as you go in. Insert them closed and then open them slightly. And you're, it's going to grab the mesh. And you're going to make sure that the silicon cover for the uh, alligator clip is all the way up against the silicon cover for the electrodes. You don't want any spacing between the alligator clip and the electrode. And it naturally that's what it happens. See, when you have the, the, the alligator clip pulled just right, when you have that cover pulled just right, just about this length, which is roughly half an inch or so, uh, you're going to be able to insert that in there very easily and it won't come out. I mean, it's, it, this is, you know, I can spin this around and it's not giving. And what ends up happening is the teeth of the alligator clip really grab into that mesh. So it's a pretty secure connection. And then you're going to do the same thing with your black cable. You're going to pick up your electrode. You're going to see, basically all I need to do is just lift the bottom part like this a little bit slightly. So it's just so you be able to see the metal right in there. And then you're going to insert feel for it, clip on it. That's it. See? All done. Let me unspin it. And if you can just grab, see how easy it is for the electro square electrodes. 
They're made out of, a, of this soft silicon material that's hard enough to keep its shape, but it's soft enough that you can pull it up very safely. See, so you can pull it up and you can inspect the element right in there. See, it's grabbing that very nicely. No danger at all. And um, you're gonna cover that up. All, another thing you wanna make sure is that metal, see? It stays underneath the, the silicone, underneath the sponge. Don't grab the sponge, right? And um, basically keep it right in there. Once you have that on, all you need to do is pour some water on it. And uh, this uh, sponge is going to expand and it's going to allow you to perform the simulation very safely. Uh, thank you very much for uh, sitting through this video. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, please uh, feel free to, to, to make the comments, to ask any questions, either by email, either uh, you can even call us. You can contact us via our website, www.apexdevice.net, and you can go to contact us. You may also call our 800 number, 877-915-TDCS. Um, so feel free to give us a call. Thank you.